You never know. I might need to go back around. I might need to pull up again. One more, one more again. Who says that? I don't do that, man. How do you, I don't talk that way. One more again. You know, I like it. One more again. <laughs> what I've had to say, it's your girl, Mena. In this video, we are talking all about the items that I bought during this year's Sephora holiday savings event. Now, I am a Rouge member and listen, I be putting in that work, okay? So I was able to shop from 11.5 to 11.15. So today's actually the 8th of November. And I'm not done yet. Like I might be so inclined to do some more shopping. We'll see, you know, for myself, for gifts, maybe more for myself. You know, you never know. If you are so intrigued by this look, I will link the video for it below. I tried out the new Huda Beauty Rose Quartz eyeshadow palette and this is a Fashion Fair lipstick. I'll link the video below. In the video, you'll find all of the details to this look, okay? Before we get started, I want you to make sure that you are subscribed. Also comment below at any point in the video because you never know, you might win a giveaway. Follow me on Instagram. Also make sure you join my text community. It's free and you should be a part of it, okay? Let's go. Now, as far as the fragrance is concerned, I am a fragrance lover. We already know this. I'm gonna link below my fragrance video, the latest one for you, so you can see what the girl got going on. I have a long wish list of fragrances saved on Sephora, and one of them was the Carolina Herrera. So if you speak Spanish, girl, let me know, because I know I did a good job. Carolina Herrera, girl. We got the high heel fragrance, baby. I've always wanted this just because of how it looks but I got to smell it in Sephora and I just love it so much. It is so good. Like I got to spray it. I'm, I'm like trying to figure out how you use this again because this is just like so cool. It is just, to me, it's just so cute. It's so sexy. There are three or four versions of the good, excuse me, it's the Good Girl Eau de Parfum. This is Good Girl Eau de Parfum. I believe they have three or four different ones. One of them is a red heel or a red, red shoe. I don't know. This one is just the Good Girl Eau de Parfum and you spray it right here. So the spray nozzle is right here and you press it right here. Isn't that the cutest thing? Let me, I don't have any fragrance on today. So let me spray this on, baby. Ooh, it's a nice light mist too. It just, it just like comes out very gently. Oh my gosh. It, let me pull up the notes because, hold on. It, oh gosh, it smells so good. I know I always say this. I know, but like, you gotta believe me. If you love the fragrances that I love, you're going to love this. You're going to need this, okay? Carolina Herrera. <laughs> I know the H is silent. Mm-hmm. They got the red one and they got this one. This is black. Oh, they got a blue one. Is it? No, it looks blue. Wait, mine is different. Hold on. Okay, it's a warm floral. Yes. I can smell the warmth of it all. It's a floral for sure. Tuberose Jasmine Tonka Bean. Tonka Bean is what I'm smelling, and I love Tonka Bean. I love that. Oh, this needs to go all over me. Come on. Oh, look at look at the way it mists. It's just so gentle, you know? It's just so gentle. I love this, oh my gosh. I need it in a, yes, I need this in a candle. That's how good it is to me, but look at this. The fragrance description is, embrace intense seduction with Carolina Herrera's Good Girl Eau de Parfum Supreme, which combines succulent berries and potent Egyptian jasmine with creamy tonka beans and scintillating vetiver. That is what did it for me. It's tonka beans and it's the vetiver. That is doing it for me all the way. It is doing me very slow. I love this. It's so great, you know? It's giving us stiletto, it's giving us you need this now. So add this to your cart, honey. You can get the smaller one if, you, if that's what you can do. It smells sexy. You just need this, like just prompto, you know, prompt, prompt. <laughs> I said prompto. Promptly, you need this. Wow. Mmm, it smells like money. It smells warm. It smells like money in the summertime. Warmth, summer, money. All of that, okay? Then the second fragrance I got, which was on my, it was on my wish list as well. I've smelled this in the past. I just had to make some tough decisions while in Sephora each time that I was there about which of the scents I wanted to prioritize for the moment. And while I was there the other day, honestly, it was the day of the sale. I had already made a purchase online and then I wanted to just stop in. It was for the vibe. You know what I'm saying? So when I went in, literally like, can we help you with anything? I'm like, you know what, honestly, I can be persuaded. Girl, they persuaded me, okay? I walked out with all of this stuff. I was like, dang, well y'all, you know, what must you you know, you shouldn't have, but that's okay. Okay, so I grabbed the Maison Margiela, baby. Replica by the fireplace, fantasticness. This is just also to die for. I'm pulling up the notes because honey, this has been on my list. I got the small size because I barely have space to put any of my 
fragrances that I'm getting now. I'm overloaded, I'm overwhelmed. I feel like I'm being suck as sucked in by fragrances, but I'm actually happy about it, you know? This is a warm and spicy fragrance family. It's a warm and sweet gourmand, all of the kinds of things that I love and like. The keynotes are clove oil, chestnut accord, vanilla accord. I think it's the clove oil that is like giving you like a little bit of a tinge. This is, okay, this is a, what did it say? It's a unisex genderless scent. You may smell this and I don't think you may. You go and smell this and say, oh, this is masculine. But it grew on me because I use Jazz Club and if you love Jazz Club, you're gonna love this. It is masculine, but there's something about a woman, excuse me, <laughs> there's something about a woman wearing a fragrance like this. Honey, listen, this is another one of those fragrances. It's not for little babies, you know what I'm saying? It's very, very powerful. It is bold. It is, it, it announces itself. It lasts. Oh! I sprayed this on my robe. What? Just phenomenal, you know? Just very, very fantastic. I, I don't even know what more to say about it. And then in the store, yo, shout out to Sephora and Single Ranch. Y'all did a thing because then they had me mixing by the fireplace and autumn vibes from Maison Margiela and I could not get enough and I have autumn vibes. So the other day when I put on by the fireplace, I did a little autumn vibes spritz and I was like, baby, baby, you've done something to me, you know? Warm and sweet. Warm floral, warm and sweet gourmand. Very different categories, but both very, very good, okay? Both warm, obviously. Just love that. If you got any fragrances during the Sephora sale, I want you to come and let me know what you got, okay, girl? Now, when it comes to candles, it's also a fragrance, but it's for the home, honey. You know that I love me a good fragrance. Oh my gosh, I'm burning a candle right now. I'm burning a candle in the bathroom, in the entryway, in the kitchen. It's just a lifestyle for me, okay? So while I was in store, I picked up Gingerbread Trap House from your girl forever moon and it smells so good it only comes in the mini which i'm tr devastated by because i need the bigger version but it's nowhere to be found but i digress so i got the small one and then when i went online again to look they were sold out i was like well geez like ew you know and so i ordered grown folks business and matcha business and i just love these i love forever mood candles i've loved like nine out of ten i've loved all of them and i've gotten every one of them except the butterfly thing that they had. No, or I didn't get the first one either. Okay, fine. But I've gotten the majority of the candles and I love them. They're so strong. You can literally burn those candles for like 30 minutes and then stop. I mean, it'll linger forever. It smells like a perfume, like a fragrance. It's just fantastic. There's so many candles that I'm like, I wish this was a body fragrance. I want to put this on my body. It is that good. So I have those three and I'm gonna wait and burn them on around the holidays. You know what I'm saying? When family's in town, like, you know what I'm saying? Do a little something different because they are so good good. I just feel like those candles are special occasion candles. Although I'll be up in here feeling like every day is a special occasion. Okay. Makeup. I didn't get much because I have a lot of stuff. You know that already, right? I'm, I stay giving stuff away and I'm a giveaway something, a giveaway a box already prepackaged, a large USPS party mailbox, okay, to either one of you down below. Just make sure you comment, okay? So I just had to re-up on my brow pencil. I like to use the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Cheat. The refill that I get is natural black. So I refilled on that. I think I got four of them. You just twist it and put it into the tube, easy peasy, as you can see, and it's just a done deal. And then I also re-upped on my Rare Beauty Luminizer. It's the color Flaunt. I have it on right now, very subtly, nose, top of lip, chin, and on the cheek, love that. I use that in every single makeup look that I do. It's a must. It's the color that works for me, you know. Had to get that. It's just a done deal. I wanted to venture over to Fashion Fair. I wanted to do a lot, but I said, you know what? I already ordered online. Like, what am I doing? And I had to slow down. <laughs> so I just had to take it easy and just get my refills. So in the makeup se section, I just got my two refills. But like I said, you never know. I might need to go back around. I might need to pull up again, one more, one more again. Who says that? I don't do that, man. How do you? I don't know. You know, again, I might need to walk up in there again and be like, listen, I can be persuaded. Shoot, persuaded to spend in $300 again. <laughs> I can't do it. It's like a lot. And then when it comes to face and body, girl. So I actually was gonna go in and get the Fenty whip butter or something, something, dang, dang, that one, right? And then I was like, I wanted to get the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream because, ugh, just like amazing. The scent is just like, ugh, suffocating in a great way. But then, Auntie, they call her Auntie. She's so sweet. She talked to me about the Skin Fix, Skin Fix Lipid Boost Body Cream. And I had never heard of it. It's new. And I was like, hmm. 
I do have eczema. Tell me more, auntie. They call her auntie. She's so sweet. If auntie is watching, you are just the sweetest. This older woman who worked at Sephora, she is just the absolute sweetest. Like I just, I don't even know. So she talked to me all about Skin Fix and I was like, boom, give me a big bottle, we're taking it. And then my other friend that I met, I forget his name. Can you imagine he's my friend, I don't know his name. He was there and he told me to put the Polish Choice C15 Vitamin Booster, Vitamin C Booster into the Skin Fix, honey. <laughs> Rub it together, baby, okay? And lather onto the body. And when he did it on my hand, I was like, slow down, slow down. I just wanna get to know you. He was doing a lot. I said, baby, baby, slow down. <laughs> you doing too much, okay? My skin looked so good. It was so hydrated. I was like, I'm just not, it don't matter. Give it to me, give it to me. So I put Boom Boom down. Now that doesn't mean that I don't, that doesn't mean that I'm I'm divorcing the Boom Boom Cream. I live for the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream, baby. I'm gonna link that below too, along with all of the ones that I'm mentioning. I do already have a Sol de Listen, I'm hiding one of the Boom Boom Creams in the closet because my husband likes them too and he uses more than I do. He takes too much at a time. I like to go very sparingly with my very expensive products, but he doesn't care. He takes huge clumps when he's applying it to his skin. So I got me a Boom Boom Cream, you know what I'm saying, in a closet. <laughs> This is so bad. It's not hidden. It's just not in plain sight. I already have one, so I was like, let me go ahead and get a little skin fix. You see what I'm saying? That is so bad. I'll take it out if he asks me. That is, <laughs> right? So I got the skin fix and the vitamin C booster because when I mixed it together, it was so nourishing, so nourishing. And I was a little bit unsure because from what I've heard, the skin on the body is a lot thicker than the skin on the face. So products take, they don't permeate or penetrate, excuse me, they don't penetrate as easily as they would on the face. So I asked the guy, do I need to get the vitamin C for the body? Like what is going on right now? He said, no ma'am, get it. It works. He was like lightening of the elbows and the knees. And if, cause I got dark spots on my neck because I break out in eczema and I scratch and scratch and scratch. So the trauma to the skin turns black, hyperpigmentation, all of that stuff happens. So he was like, just put it all over the body, you know, mix it in on the palm of your hand, blah, 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 and rub. And so little by little, you'll get that lightening. It's just not going to be, what's that product? It's not a whitening cream. Oh, what's it called? It's not a bleaching product, okay? It's not a bleaching concoction, but it's supposed to be good for the skin. So I got those two and I love already. Like I love already. And then I was in the checkout line. I thought this was the cutest thing. The Sephora Cozy hand, Mango Hand Mask. I thought this was so cute. I haven't used it yet. I'm gonna use it. I wanna do my nails first though. Like I wanna, well, take these off first and then do the hand mask and then do my nails over again and just like smooth soft hands coming through. You know what I'm saying? Why not? We do foot masks. We do face masks. Why not do a hand mask as well? You know, it's a no brainer for me. I love these. Tell me if you've ever tried a hand mask. And if you have, which ones? And then, because I love Sol de Janeiro so much, I had to get something from the line. I already have a lot, but I had to get something from the, for the girls, you know? So I got the Brazilian Boom Boom. I almost want to say cream, but you know, the Brazilian flavor scented chapstick, okay? I call it chapstick. I know that chapstick is a brand. Even my Laneige, Laneige lip sleeping mask, I call it a chapstick. When I tell me, go get chapstick, it's like any number of these, go get one of them. So I got the Sol de Janeiro chapstick. It's a lip balm, but you know what I mean. And it just looks so cute. It smells so good. And I apply it to my lips, obviously without makeup. I don't wear that beneath a lipstick of any kind just to get the fragrance, honey. Just because I wanna smell my lips and I want it to smell good when I smell it. That's really it, okay? That's a short list. It's shorter than I would like, but I really do have a lot of stuff. That's because I'm rouge, hello. When you're rouge, it's like, why are you even shopping? Like when you're rouge, why are you shopping? But then again, I think, oh, not lipstick, uh-uh, get it out, uh-uh, no ma'am. Okay, so when you're rouge, it's like, why are you shopping? And I think because they're like, you know, ideally you would be shopping for like people, like family, but how am I not gonna get what I want? <laughs> you know, duh. So if you got anything else that I haven't gotten, I want you to comment and let me know. If you have any of the products that I have, also comment and let me know because you never know if you're gonna win a giveaway. Thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.